Hi everyone! So in this video, we will be discussing about partnership formation. But first, um, let us review the concept of partnership. So our, according to Article 1767 of the uh, Civil Code of the Philippines, a partnership is a contract of two or more persons binding themselves to contribute money property or industry to a common fund with the intention of dividing the profits among themselves so by definition itself so we can discuss a lot of concepts here so first a partnership is a contract meaning uh, it is an agreement between the partners so the agreement may be oral or written or in any form the important is there must be mutual understanding among the partners. Of course, a partnership is uh, consists of at least two persons, tiba. Wala namang partnership na siya lang magisa, so walang magjowa na siya lang magisa. And then these partners, these persons, agreed to bind themselves to contribute money. So, by the way, these persons may be natural or juridical. Meaning, natural persons yung, yung tao talaga. And then, yung juridical persons, these are uh, entities that are recognized as person in the eyes of the law. Like, for example, a corporation can be a partner in a partnership. So, these partners agreed to contribute properties or even services to the partnership with the intention of dividing the profits among themselves so as you can see um, there is no loss indicated in the article 1767 of course any businessman um, constitute or wants to have a business with the intention to generate profit and not loss so in case there will be a loss, so there are, the loss is just a negative consequence of mismanaging the operation. So if you still remember, um, any agreement between the partners wherein a partner is excluded in the division of profits is void. And those topics are already covered in your business law subjects. In accounting for partnership, and uh, there are four subtopics. So first, we have formation. So in accounting for formation, uh, it focuses mainly on accounting for the investment or the contributions of the partners, diba? These partners contributes money, property, and industry. So yun ang laman ng partnership formation how to account these contributions what value should the partnership record and what will be the entry and what will be the capital that will be what that will be recognized in the books of the partnership so actually ito yung pinaka madali sa apat ang formation ang operation naman of course once meron ng partnership of course magsa-start na yung operation in accounting for partnership operation, so this uh, includes division of profits. Yung sinabi ko kanina. Uh, this includes division of profits. Of course, before tayo mag-divide ng profits, we must know how to compute the profits and losses. So that would be discussed in the next videos. In this solution, uh, Dito yung may change in ownership sa partners. So maybe a new partner joined the partnership or a partner retired or withdraw from the partnership or namatay si partner or yung partnership naging corporation. And then last is the liquidation. Uh, liquidation meaning winding up of the affairs of the partnership meaning nag-stop na yung operation ng partnership. So, how to account those assets and any obligations of the partnership. So, we'll proceed with the partnership formation. Before we deal with the 
problem solving. So let's discuss first the legal basis in which we will uh, will be applying in a, in solving the problems. So let me read. A contract of partnership is consensual. It is created by the agreement of the partners which may be constituted in any form such as oral or written. However, Articles 1771 and 1772 of the Philippine Civil Code requires that a partnership agreement be made in a public instrument and recorded in the Office of the Securities and Exchange Commission or SEC when a. Immovable properties or real rights are contributed to the partnership, for example, uh, property, plant, and equipments, meaning immovable like land, building, and the likes. Or, the partnership has a capital of 3,000 pesos or more. So, at least 3,000. So, diba, if you still remember, all agreements of the partners are written in the articles of co-partnership so sa articles of partnership nakalagay dyan yung names ng partners yung mga contributions nila amount and contributions address tin and many more article 1773 states that an inventory of any immov immovable property contributed to the partnership should be signed by the parties and attached to the public instrument. Otherwise, the partnership shall be deemed void. Next will be the valuation of contributions. As I've said earlier, ang formation more on valuation. Uh, what is the net contribution of the, par the partners? So, Article 1787 of the Civil Code states that when a capital or part thereof which a partner is bound to contribute consists of goods, their appraisal must be made in the manner prescribed in the contract of partnership. And in the absence of stipulation, it shall be made by experts chosen by the partners and agreed and according to current prices, the subsequent changes thereof being for the account of the partnership. partnership. So, medyo nakakalito, di ba? So, to simplify this, madali lang yan. Once assets are contributed in the partnership, so ito yung uh, tatandaan nyo. If cash, siyempre madali lang yan kung magkano yung face value ng cash. So, debit ka lang ng cash, credit, partners, capital. So, equal to the amount of cash contributed. If in case a partner contributes a non-cash asset like inventory or ano pa, building, equipment. So, anong sabi ng law? It should be made in the manner prescribed in the contract of the partnership. So, simply put, it should be uh, appraised using the agreed value. Kung ano yung uh, napagkasunduan ng mga partners. So, if in case uh, the partners fail to agree on what value should the assets be appraised, so walang napagkasunduan, so anong sabi ng law? It shall be made by experts chosen by the partners and according to current prices. Meaning, it should be, it should be valued according to its fair value. So, if walang agreed value, so ang next order of priority natin will be the fair value. However, um, normally, uh, the agreed value is equal to the fair value but in some problems or questions wherein these two values are given of course the agreed val the agreed value should prevail because that is 
that is what the partners agreed. As I've said, a partnership is consensual. Then, if uh, in case wala yung dalawang value, so the last resort will be the book value or the carrying amount of the asset. So, let's have a problem in order for us to apply these concepts. So, diniscuss ko lang yung legal basis natin so that we will be guided in solving the problem. So, this material, by the way, is provided on the link below. So, kindly download na lang the PDF file so that you can have or you can print it for yourself and you can follow my discussion. So, for our next for our next page, so we have a sample problem here. So, di naman masyadong mahaba, di ba? Medyo maiksi pa nga ito eh. So, our problem, Leo and Nana, so I know familiar, uh, although, uh, most of you are familiar with these terms or names. Leo and Nana decided to form a partnership on October 1, 2014. Their statement of financial position or balance sheet on this date where so they have cash, accounts receivable, inventory, equipment, accounts payable, and their respective capital. So apparently, si Leo at si Nana, they are previously proprietors. Meaning, previously, they have their own businesses and then they decided to pull it and to form a partnership. So, di ba yung, yung sa previous video, ang step dyan is you adjust the assets, the liabilities, and then close the books of the sole proprietor and then record the investments in the books of the partnership. And then, in addition, so they have also the following agreements. So they have the following adjustments of the said assets, equipment, allowance, inventories. Because of course, at the time of um, forming the partnership, some of these assets may not be properly valued. Siguro yung iba overvalued, ang iba is undervalued. Dapat kung ano talaga yung value niya at the time of the formation of the partnership, that should be the value that should reflect in the books of the partnership. And then, ang first requirement natin, and most questions would require this, how much is the capital credit of each partners? Then, um, assuming the questions also state that assuming the partner's capital credit is equal to their contribution, meaning kung pilay, uh, kung magkano yung net contribution nila, asset minus liabilities, kung magkano yung value, yun yung capital nila sa partnership. So, how should we solve this kind of problem? So, to compute the capital credit or the adjusted capital, our first alternative will be adjusted assets minus adjusted liabilities automatic the amount here will be the adjusted capital. So, these assets here, uh, consider lang natin yung mga adjustments, then yun na yung, yun na yung ating adjusted assets. And if uh, there's in adjustment to the liabilities, so adjust din natin. So, let us solve this problem using this first alternative first. So, let's um, list down the one, uh, one by one the assets and liabilities contributed by Leo and Nana. So, first we have cash. So, so far, uh, walang problem sa cash. So, copy lang natin 65 and 165.
uh, next will be the accounts receivable so we have we have 140 one one million four hundred fifty and eight hundred ninety however this uh, there's an agreement wherein allowance for doubtful accounts is to be set up amounting to 280 for leo and 190 for nana so we have to adjust this ar so 1450 less allowance 280 that would be 1 million 170 and for nana so we have a balance of 890 and an allowance should be established amount amounting to 190 so the adjusted accounts receivable will be 700 next we have merchandise inventory so my adjustment ba so meron dito so for leo my inventory siyang 875 however inventories amounting to 20 are worthless so 875 minus 20 so the adjusted inventory will be 855 and for nana 880 less 15 that would be 865 then last is the equipment 650 for leo my adjustment ba so meron so equipment of leo is under depreciated so meaning uh how how will we compute the adjusted equipment under depreciated daw meaning kulang yung depreciation meaning overvalued tong equipment na to because kulang yung depreciation so to adjust we must deduct this 85 so 650 minus 85 that would be 565 and for nana so nana's equipment daw is over depreciated meaning sobra yung na deduct natin or na depreciate so this equipment of course is um, under valued so add back natin yung 130 so 1265 plus 130 that would be 1,395 so di pala nakita so the total adjusted assets of each partners partner will be for leo uh, 65 plus 1170 plus 855 plus 565 that would be 2 million 655 and for nana 165 plus 700 plus 865 plus 1395 that would be 3 million 125 thousand then based on the problem wala naman tayo adjustment for the accounts payable so copy lang natin yung accounts payable um, for Leo that would be um, 450,000 and then for Nana that would be 1,160,000 so deduct natin yung liabilities from the adjusted assets So we can derive the adjusted capital. So two million six five five less four fifty that would be two million two hundred five. So that's the capital of Leo. Then for Nana three one two five less one one sixty that would be one million nine hundred sixty five. So that uh, 
that is the first alternative so again adjusted assets less adjusted liabilities if any is equal to capital adjusted capital so ito na yung answer natin sa first requirement the second alternative will be unadjusted capital so ano yung unadjusted capital so itong 2,590 and 2,040 so yung capital nila before the adjustments so the formula will be unadjusted capital plus minus the adjustments yung, yung adjustments lang yung i-consider natin so plus or minus siya then we can already compute the adjusted capital so to show adjust, unadjusted capital of Leo and Nana is 2,590,000 and 2,040,000 respectively. So for our first adjustment, equipment of Leo is under depreciated by 85,000 and Nana is over depreciated by 130. So kay Leo muna tayo. So ang challenging kasi dito pag sa second alternative, we must know the effect of the adjustment for example if you increase or you or you decrease the asset you must know its effect with the capital and i think direct yung relationship ng adjustment so if you increase the asset ang effect niya sa capital of course increase then then if decrease so decrease din capital natin so for the first adjustment yung adjustment natin is 85 so since under depreciated ang equipment natin under depreciated so kulang yung depreciation meaning uh, overvalued yung equipment natin so overvalued so anong over daw tong 650 by 85 so anong adjustment natin of course we will deduct 85 so if we will deduct 85 Ang effect niyan sa ating capital is of course will be reduction. So for the first adjustment, so deduct, so letter A, deduct 85. And then for Nana, uh, the equipment of Nana daw is over depreciated, meaning sobra yung na deduct sa equipment. So meaning or consequently, this equipment is overvalued I mean undervalued because sobra yung nadidak so kulang tong equipment natin so adjustment natin is to increase the equipment of Nana so as I said earlier pag increase in asset increase din sa capital so plus 130 for Nana second adjustment will be allowance so of course madali lang to so yung, ang, ang effect ng allowance will be it will decrease the accounts receivable so decrease sa asset of course decrease din sa capital so pareho silang decrease so 280 and 190 then third Inventories of 20 and 15 are worthless. So, di na, check, di na pwedeng ibenta yung 20 and 15 amount ng inventory. So, simply, ang adjustment natin is, of course, we subtract, subtract this 20 and 15 to their inventories. So, adjustment is deduction sa asset. So, ang effect sa capital, of course, deduction rin. So, minus... 20 then minus 15 so meron pa ba 
equipment, allowance, inventories. So, wala na. So, ito lang yung adjustments natin. So, unadjusted. The adjustments. Then, we can compute the adjusted capital. So, do the math. 2,590,000 minus 85 minus 280 minus 20. That would be 2,200,000. And for Nana, 2 million 40 plus 130 minus 190 minus 15, that would be 1 million 965. So if you notice, uh, our answers in the first alternative, ito, and for the second alternative is, of course, um, pareho. So, it depends on you o oh, anong mas prefer ninyo na alternative. Kasi, depende, yan, depende din yan sa requirement sa problem. If ang requirement is how much is the total assets of the partnership, so you, can, you should use this adjustment. If the question is how much is the adjusted capital, so use this second alternative course depende sa inyo so that's for the first requirement so to continue the second requirement is according to specified or agreed ratio because in partnership Ang capital ng partners, depende yan. If they agreed that their capital is equal to their contribution, so yun yung sa kanina. Um, adjusted assets minus liabilities equals to their net contribution or the capital credit. However, the partners can agree that the capital, their capital credit is different to the amount of assets that they contribute. So, to simplify, uh, let me give uh, another simple uh, example. For example, si A at si B may 300 na capita, uh, investment, si, si B may 100. So, they can decide that the capital of A and B in the partnership is 300 and the capital of B is 100. So, equal to their contribution. They can also decide or they can also agree na they can have an equal capital in the partnership. Pwede ba yun? Of course, if they both agree, so kung payag si A, payag din si B, so there's no problem in that. So, yung total capital will be 400. So, if they decide to uh, have an equal capital in the partnership, so simply 200 and 200. So, same lang din ang total, 400. So, si A, we deduct A, 100. Then, we add B, 100. So, actually, ito yung bonus method. All, or, also known as the transfer of capital method. Because, uh, there's a transfer of capital from A to B in order to bring their capital into their agreed or desired ratio because they agree to have an equal uh, capital or interest so B, A rather transfer part of his capital to B so that's the concept of bonus method or transfer of capital.